the objective of this video is to solve some log and exponential equation so the first question is log base 4 of log base x of log base 2 of x is equal to 1 okay so let me write some uh, rules so let me write the first exponential form so if it's like this log of x uh, base a if it's equal to b this double implies x is equal to a to the power b now this is called the log form and this is called the exponential form so uh, log is nothing but a exponential form written in a different way so this is one more log rule log of a to the base a is 1 then you can know that log of log of 1 to any base is 0 okay then what else do we know that log of 1 so log of 0 and log of negative is not defined okay so let me write okay, there are other rules but I'm not going into that so when I look at this I can say that this has to be 4 because using this rule log of base to the base a is 1 so this if it's equal to 1 this has to be 4 okay so what I'm saying is I know that log of 4 to the base 4 is 1 this is the knowledge that I have using this knowledge I can say that log base 2 of x should be 4 is it making sense okay because based on this I'm relating this with this and based on this I'm saying this that log of base 2 of x has to be 4 now applying this rule if log of log base 2 of x is 4 this implies x is nothing but 2 to the power 4 which is 16 so x has to be 16 so let us check let us make sense of what we have got that's a good technique that you should know so let us put 16 back into this so let us put this back into this so what will happen so this is log base 4 of log base 2 16 now this is nothing but log base 4 of log 2 to the power of 4 base 2. Okay. Now here, 16 I have written as 2 to the power 4. So this is log base 4 of log base 2 to the power 2 to the power 4. So now using this is one more rule. I should have written that. This is one more rule that log of any base to the of say x to the power n is n log base a of x okay so applying that rule i can say i'm just checking my answer so this is log base 4 of 4 log 2 base 2 of 2 and this is nothing but 1. So that is nothing but log base 4 of 4. And this is 1 because 4 times 1 is 1. And finally, this is nothing but log of uh, log base 4 of 4 is 1. So our answer is right. Okay, the next question. Now this is an exponential uh, equation. We want to solve the value of x. Okay, so let me write the question again. 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 162. Okay, so how can we do? What can we do to this? We got a 3 to the power x. Yeah, this is 3 to the power x minus 1. So what can we do this to this form to get this? So, well, I can say this, this is the same as 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x divided by 3 to the power 1. And this is the most important step. Okay. So now this becomes what? So you can say 
because it's nothing but 3. Okay, so this is 3 to the power x over 1 minus 3 to the power x over 3 is equal to 16. Now I want to get rid of this 3, so I'm going to multiply this with 3. So if I multiply this with 3, I have to multiply this with 3, and I have to also multiply this with 3. So this 3, this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. So what happens? Now changing color. So this is 3 times 3 to the power, this is times, 3 times 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x is equal to 48. Am I right? Yeah. So what can you factor out? You can factor out the 3 to the power x. So you have 3 minus 1 is equal to 48. So that is 3 to the power x times 2 is 48. Uh, why, how did you get 1? This is 162. Oops, I made a mistake here. So this is 162. This is 162. So this is, this should be 162 times, 160 times 2, 3 is uh, 480. Okay. 162 times 3. Okay. Uh, that is 162 times 3. I've got a calculator, so why not use the calculator? So my brain is not working. 162 times 3 is 486. I was right. 486. This is also 486. This is also 486. This is very colorful, so this is, I'm going to divide this by 2. So this is also by 2. So this, let me make it as colorful as possible. So here, now, you've got 3 to the power x is 243. Okay, so 3 to the power what is 243? So we can say 3 to the power x. Hmm, what can we do? You can do it directly if you know what's the power of 3 to the power of 5 is 243, but let's assume that you don't know 3 to the power of 5 is 243. So what can we do? We take log, so log of 3 to the power x is equal to log of 243. So log of x to the power 3 is nothing but x log 3 is equal to log of 243. So x is nothing but log of 243 divided by log of 3. So my calculator is ready. Log of 243. You can use natural log, doesn't matter. Divide by log of 3. Just to explain, if you, even if you use natural log, natural log of 243 divided by natural log of 3 would also give you 5. Okay? Which is equal to 5. But if you know, suppose if you don't want to do if you know this fact, you can do in one step 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 5. Because 3 to the power 5 is 243. Okay? And then if you can compare, you can compare this with this. So I can say x is equal to 5. Okay, so does the answer make sense? So let us put the answer back. So what they are saying is 3 to the power 5 minus 3 to the power 4 is 162 because 5 minus 1 is 4 so let's see that 3 to the power 5 minus 3 to the power 4 is 162 so the answer is correct hopefully this video has been helpful i will do this question in the next video these two questions if x is a real number find the minimum value uh, find the minimum value of this okay and also this question okay see you in the next video